For us, YouTube is just going online and watching a video. But there's, as creators, there's so many tools out there for us to explore. It's uh, uh, from Creator Studio to all these other features. There's a lot to talk about. So I hope I can do that justice today. But first, let me begin with just some quick updates about YouTube and what's been happening. Uh, do you guys know how many, how much YouTube, how many YouTube videos are watched on a single day? Trivia. Anybody can guess? One billion hours are watched daily on YouTube. And I don't know about you, but I'm sure all of us here wake up and go to sleep watching YouTube videos, yes? Yes, <laughs> okay, awesome. Um, and now just a little bit of YouTube updates, what's been happening in the news. There's, there are now a total of nine YouTube spaces around the world. Can anybody name these nine YouTube spaces? <laughs> it's, uh, you have two in the US, LA is like the main one, there's one in New York, there's one in Toronto, uh, down in South America there's Buenos Aires, uh, no, Sao Paulo, I'm sorry, and then in Europe there's three, London, Paris, and Berlin, and then in Asia there are two, uh, Tokyo, and the other one in Mumbai, India, where there's a big community of YouTubers as well, and then there are pop-up spaces, we had one in the Philippines last May, who was at the pop-up space last May? Well, there's going to be another pop-up space coming in October. <laughs> so there's going to be another pop-up space coming in October, uh, along with the Next Up contest. So who joined the Next Up contest here? I hope a lot of you. We have one over there. Well, uh, the next, there are over like 90 plus finalists, or at least submissions, and I think they're gonna kind of bring that number down and you'll see some of these YouTubers when that pop-up space launches in October, and hopefully, and one of them will get to go to LA, so that's pretty awesome. So maybe keep an eye out, that Next Up event is pretty amazing, keep an eye out for events because you not only do you have the opportunity to, to kind of like meet each other, but also to travel and learn from YouTubers from all around the world. Okay, uh, let me just rush through some of the other stuff. YouTube is giving us more viewing choices. A lot of these features may not be available in the Philippines just yet, but there's some things to be excited about. Uh, in the US, there's something called YouTube TV, where you can watch streaming TV on YouTube across all your devices. Mobile, your desktop computer, and on your TV. I have an Android TV at home, and I watch YouTube on my TV. These are all the channels that you can watch live streaming TV, so that's pretty cool. That's called YouTube TV. And then, if you have YouTube Red in the US, who watches Joey Graceffa? Who knows Joey Graceffa? Okay, a couple of you guys. Well, a lot of YouTubers, can very well have their own TV shows. And that's what YouTube is doing with a feature called YouTube Originals. So if you have YouTube Red in the US, you, there's a link called YouTube Originals, and then he has his own TV show on YouTube. It's called Escape the Night, and they're already on season two. So that's pretty awesome. It's called YouTube Originals. Um, and then YouTube Music. Who uses Spotify over here? Who uses, uh, what are the other streaming services? Google Play Music. Apple Music. Apple Music. Well, and who watches Vivo on YouTube, like the music videos? Well, all of that is coming together in a service called YouTube Music. That will maybe be available very soon. It's available on mobile, so this is a screen grab from, uh, from mobile. And this is what it looks like on the desktop. So it's, it'll be available as an op app, just like those other services that you guys have talked about. Okay, now on to some of the features of YouTube. Now, who has activated the new YouTube look and feel? Everybody here? Not a lot? Well, you can go over to youtube.com slash new and you can activate it there to get the new and improved YouTube look. It's supposed to have a couple of things. One is all about simplicity, taking away elements that kind of distract your viewing experience. Let me show you. So this is Gadget Match, if you have my channel. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you do. But as you can see, it's cleaner now. No distractions. Actually, if you click over here, you can bring out your, your navigation bar. But if you just uh, click back, it'll kind of condense that, take that away. So all you have are video. And apart from simplicity, it's also more consistent. So whether you're viewing on your mobile device or you're viewing on your computer, the experience feels the same. 
Um, and I don't know if you've done this, but once you've activated the new YouTube look, you can also turn on, which is my favorite, black mode. This is a screen grab. Who's, who has black mode turned on? I think it's great because you have a black background, more things kind of get tucked away, and as you can see, uh, Guess, I guess you know who I'm watching now, who my favorite YouTuber is over there. Say his YouTube channel. I didn't pick this. YouTube forced this upon me, I guess, because of my viewing habits. Uh, in fact, this morning, the first video that I watched was Say's video because um, I have the activity tab and I usually check out uh, videos from the people that I subscribe to. And then this is what it looks like in watching a video, which is great because I think video over black is, be is better than video over white. Okay. Um, and then heat maps. Who does 360 videos here? I haven't yet, but there's a lot of devices out there today. There's a Gear 360 from Samsung. There's an Insta360, which you can use for your Android phone or your, your iPhone. And when you make 360 degree videos, um, what you can do is underneath the analytics, you can actually have heat maps to see, because uh, you with 360 you can see all around, right? You can see where people are actually looking out on your video. So if you have those 360 degree cameras, my suggestion is go out and try to find ways of like experimenting with this new format for creating content and then now uh, YouTube allows us to kind of understand how people consume that content even better and then there are vi video previews who's noticed this video previews on thumbnails this is pretty awesome my only pet peeve is that I can't kind of shape control what people see but that's the very point because a lot of people have misleading thumbnails and so what YouTube does is does this and it picks randomly, I believe three seconds from your video to show people what actually is inside your video. And it works on Chrome and Opera browsers, so that's a really, really cool uh, feature as long as you hover over the thumbnail. Okay, next. Who has subscribed to the monthly newsletter? Apart from that creator community that uh, well, we talked about earlier, you can actually go over and click uh, and look for the YouTuber creator monthly or quarterly newsletter and get updates on what's been happening. They also give you updates about your channel's performance. So something to check out. Um, and then this is another feature uh, currently available in the US, but Suzanne says it's rolling out to us very soon. Uh, on, if you're on YouTube, there's actually a trending tab, which shows you the videos that are trending. But now, as long as, and, and usually it's channels with millions of subscribers getting millions of views that are always on the trending channel, but what about us smaller channels? Well, starting in the US, as long as you have over a thousand subscribers, you get the opportunity to be one of the, every week they choose somebody, a channel, that's a channel on the rise. I'll show you how that looks like. Um, so this is from my uh, YouTube on the desktop. Uh, and as you can see, if I click over here on trending, I believe there were like, this is a list of all the trending videos today. And then you can see this shows up. And then, I don't know if you can see it, but this blue tab says creator on the rise and this is like a new creator that they're featuring. So uh, soon, I hope, Suzanne, this little feature will come to us and then all our smaller channels, even if we don't have as many views, uh, as long as uh, uh, we're doing a great job, we get a chance to be on this uh, Creators on the Rise tab. That's pretty awesome. And uh, I believe there's more features to talk about as well. So. If you guys, I know this might not be a concern for a lot of you, but this is, this is part of mine, right? Yes, but a lot of times people like to steal, people, some YouTubers will steal their content, and that's the worst thing of all. Like when, when somebody's uploading a video that I worked really hard for, right, Suzanne? And so now they make it easier for you to kind of dispute these stuff. Yeah, so this is actually, this feature is really um, a lot more for bigger labels, like, you know, when you have, like, copyright claims, I'm sure all of you have faced copyright claims before. So this feature is actually more for, you know, your big music labels and things like that, where they can bulk dispute, um, bulk resolve um, the disputes that are coming in. But how it affects creators such as you guys, like endemic creators, is because, like, a lot of times, even when you realize your video is being copyrighted and you send an appeal in, it basically takes, like, a month month or something for them to get back to you because the the, uh, the music labels like, have to manually go one by one and resolve it. But now because we're making it easier for them to resolve it, it's a lot quicker for you guys to get your videos released and to get it monetized a lot quicker as well. So that's how it affects you guys. Even though it's not a feature specifically for endemic creators, it affects you guys positively in that sense. 
Thanks, Susan. All right. <laughs> Next, oh, bell notification. So I know a lot of YouTubers, it's very important. I always ask my subscribers to do this, uh, to, when they, to, to not only hit the subscribe button, but hit the bell icon. But a lot of you consumers also don't want to always be notified. So YouTube, the product team has been listening to our feedback. And now when you subscribe, you can choose to get all notifications, which I still recommend that you do. But if you don't really, you're not a big fan of that channel, you want occasional updates, you can choose that as well, or not to get notified at all as well. And then sometimes it's easy to kind of uh, accidentally unsubscribe to someone as well. And a lot of creators are saying, how come I'm losing subscribers? Jacko over here uh, told me that he actually unsubscribed to Will by accident. And then one day finding out, how come I'm not subscribed to Will's channel? Um, so it's easy to, so it might, so what they're doing doing now is if you unsubscribe to a channel or one of your fans unsubscribes to your channels, they'll be asked, are you sure you want to unsubscribe? So unsubscribe. Right? It's like making it, not harder, but just confirming with them, like, you sure? It's like, you know what, have you ever tried deactivating your Facebook account? Yeah. It's like super difficult. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So just that. So it makes it easier to keep your subscribers as well. And then the activity tab on iOS. Uh, if you have an iOS phone, this is what I look at first thing in the morning. All the new updates from all my favorite YouTubers is there as well, because we, I think it's important for us to be able to make it easier to find the videos from the people that we love. I believe that's it. Oh, yes, new creators on trending as well. Uh, hopefully that's gonna come to us soon, but we're gonna get notifications once our video is trending. I have a quick question. So if my channel is, um, if I'm at, like for example, the Note 8, uh, and it's launching next week, if it goes viral, can I go on trending in the US, and how does that work? So it's on in your country. Okay. Yeah, so it's specifically trending in your country. So for example, if your channel is set for Philippines, then it's if a, a video is trending in the Philippines. Yeah. Okay, got it. So. <laughs> so I don't know everything. The last thing is, su is super cool, and this is a feature that is available locally. Who has tried out Super Chat? So when you, none of you, when you live stream on YouTube, you can actually get the chat already. So I'm sure you've seen YouTube live streams where there's a chat ongoing. But think about it this way. There are many cool ways we can kind of incentivize people to, if you want to, for example, raise money for a cause, uh, you can now Per, you can now ask your users to purchase, and then it gets a highlight. You'll, you'll see the animated GIF later. It'll turn green. There you go. So all of a sudden now, kung nagpapabati ito, like shout out the man. So the people that that donate maybe will get a bigger shout out, or you can do something cool. Maybe I will uh, jump up and down for ten minutes if you guys donate like a hundred dollars. And there's so many things, and this is live. And as long as they sign up and the payment has been set up, it's easy for them to kind of donate money. This is, I've seen this feature on different like third party live streaming services, but now it's integrated into YouTube and when you're live streaming, which is awesome. I was at Google I.O. Uh, several months ago, and what they did was they put like three guys in the center and were like, as long as we can raise up to $500, we're going to do a balloon fight and everybody around them, we can throw water water balloons at the three folks. So you can do stunts, you can do crazy stuff, and I think it's a great way to uh, not only uh, monetize, but also raise money for a cause. And this feature, again, is already available here, so you should definitely check out the YouTube live streaming and turn on Super Chat. That's it. That's everything I have to talk about today. Yay! Thank you so much, Michael. I don't know about you, though. That was like the most engaging product update I've